A long, long time ago, in 1395, in a faraway land known as Masique, Bishopric of Liege, Holy Roman Empire, now Belgium, an amazing Flemish artist was born. His name? Jan van Eyck. Bonjour! My name is not important, but I am Jan van Eyck's French bestie. The year is 1432. I am Jan van Eyck, Flemish painter extraordinaire. Also the most esteemed professional oil painter ever. Welcome, friend. I am going to be painting you something today. Really? That's awesome. We are here in the era of the Renaissance. Renaissance means rebirth in French. The Renaissance was the rebirth of ancient Greek and Roman art and literature in northern Italy. The Middle Ages were too bland for these artists. They wanted to focus not so much on religious things, but more secular ideas, focusing more on the human body and how it works. I'm going to name it Ghent Altarpiece. That is a beautiful name, Jan. Social and political developments in medieval society led to the Renaissance. Whoa, what the heck? Who's there? It is I, the omniscient one. Oh, oh okay. okay. Mm. Artists and musicians were hired to show wealthy people's power due to the rise in commerce. Art in the Renaissance was beautiful. It focused solely on the individual human form. The pieces of art expressed depth and perspective. The subjects portrayed limitless expressions. I agree, Jan's French friend. The figures were much more realistic than medieval art. They displayed a lot more movement. Often the subjects were nude, occasionally having light clothing on. The art was symmetrical on both sides, very neat and orderly. Medieval art was boring. It had little emotion and was based only on important and religious subjects. The background was plain and had no depth. They didn't have the resources back then to make their art beautiful. Artists used different techniques to make their artwork come to life, such as fresco, oil painting, and egg tempera. Each of these helped the depth of the painting. The oil was versatile. It allowed artists to change up the painting as they wished. The other most famous artists in this time are Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci, just like the Ninja Turtles. That is a great show. Those artists used the techniques in all of their paintings. They had many, many years of training to get to be the renowned artists they are today. They had to go through a long process. They had to be apprentices to master craftsmen. They did simple tasks like cleaning and grinding pigments. They could later draw sketches, copy paintings, cast sculptures, and help out with simple artworks. Artists back then were as popular as their artwork was. Merchants displayed their power by showing off fancy art. Patrons of the arts were people who financed artists, such as church leaders, merchants, and wealthy families. Kitsch! 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 I have done it! Kitsch means look in Flemish. And quoi monsieur? Let us see. I will place this in the Cathedral of St. Babo in Ghent, Belgium. It is a whopping 181.50 inches wide by 137.80 inches high. She is perfect. Wow, so superb. Jan was literate and considered the greatest artist of Netherlands school. He had outstanding skill as an oil painter. In fact, Jan perfected it. He held a very high position in society throughout his career. He was a court painter and a diplomat in Bruges. He was the most famous painter amongst his entire artistic family. Let's jump ahead a few years, say 1434. Here we go. Blue, 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 blue. like painting. Uh, I'm going to call it Arnolfini portrait. I am excited to see what it looks like. This painting was made up of oil and oak. Giovanni Di Niccolo Arnolfini and his wife are the subjects of the painting. The mirror reflects two figures in the doorway. One may actually be Jan. The oil painting technique allowed Jan to depict the painting with great subtlety. For example, the gleaming brass chandelier on the ceiling. Voila! She is, how do you say, complete! She is 82.2 centimeters high and 60 centimeters long. Ah, magnifique, c'est vrai! Let's jump ahead to the next year, 1435. Yes, I finally completed the three Marys at the tomb. Mary Magdalene, Mary Cleophas, and Mary Salome. They are on their way to Christ after his burial to anoint him. The angel says that Christ is risen. It is a medieval city in Jerusalem in the 15th century. Let's stay in this year and just skip to another painting of Jan's. 
Oh my goodness! See here? I have completed this painting at the Musée de Louvre in Paris. It is called the Madonna de Candelos Nicolas Rollin. I made it with oil on panel. Oh, uh, Jean Paris. And I love your painting also. Let's jump to the year 1439. <laughs> this painting is one of my favorites. Madonna and Child at the Fountain. It was made using oil on panel. Isn't that cool? It is 7.5 inches high and 4.7 inches long. It is located in the Royal Museum of the Fine Arts in Antwerp, Belgium. Isn't it cool how we change years and locations here we're always in the same place? What do you mean change years and location? Now let's jump to the year 1441, July 9. Wait, stop! That's the day! <laughs> Rest in peace, Jan Denis. See here, I completed this painting at the Musée de Louvre in Paris. It is called the Madonna de Candelos Nicolas Rodin. It is made with oil on panels. That is Madonna.